All right, so here are the seven lessons I learned from the Get Smart With Money uh, docu-series on Netflix. Uh, I had the likes of different financial coaches, financial mentors, um, to work with individuals that are looking to get better with their finances. Uh, so number one, uh, building a money justification machine by understanding your money quadrants. So I loved what the Budgetista fellow Nigerian, by the way, um, broke down in one of the episodes about having a money quadrant system about how you spend uh, for different expenses. Uh, so one quadrant is, do you need it? Do you love it? Do you like it or do you want it? And that's your money justification machine that you can use when buying or spending on different purchases and things that you need. Uh, number two, uh, Ross, uh, I'm Mac Ross, or I'm Ross Mac, a financial educator who also does stuff in the sports space. He talked about just taking a simple approach when it comes to investing, uh, simply investing in the S&P 500, the 500 best stocks on the national level. And it's a way to get integrated into understanding more about investing without overwhelming yourself so i love that as a as a way to you know kind of dip your toe in the water without um without risking too much number four uh oh sorry number three when it comes to you know making money there's two ways to go about it when you're first starting out and trying to trying to build one got to cut your expenses uh so simply cutting your expenses uh, so, you know, addition by subtraction and then number two, building out side hustles on what you're already good at. Um, I think it's very important to do that as, uh, as you look to build ways, um, to make money. Uh, number three. So a lot of times people spend money before they have it because they know their paycheck's coming or they know, uh, a big bonus is coming at the end of the year. So they spend the money before they have it, but you need to flip the script and split your money before you get it. So, you know, you have your money coming out or coming to you soon. It's like, all right, I'm going to split it in between my house, bills, emergency spending, dream savings. And then whatever I have left over, that's what I'm going to use to, you know, do what I need to do. Uh, number five. Yeah, number five. So when it comes to the athlete lifestyle, uh, I'm Ross Mack. You know, he's the financial coach for a specific athlete in this in this docuseries. Uh, he talks about the athlete lifestyle. You know, you go from having a lot of income to no income to no income to a lot of income because of the fluctuating careers that you have. So your earning potential as an athlete starts out good early on, but then it plateaus. So what are you doing while you make that money while you have a head start to hopefully hold you until you find your next uh, job or holds you long enough where you don't have to work because you made the right decisions on a foundational basis. Uh, the next lesson, uh, emergency fund, emergency fund, emergency fund, emergency fund. You never know when you're going to be in an emergency. So you have to prepare for when that emergency comes. And then the last lesson I learned is like automation equals discipline. The best the discipline is being able to automate things that you have on a month to month, week to week, day to day basis. So understanding that and automating, but also automating and checking over what you automate is really important to building a, a, a pathway to getting smarter with your money. So I'm not sure if you all saw the Netflix docuseries. If you haven't, it came out a while ago, but make sure you check it out. Um, you definitely can learn some financial tips that will help you. Uh, I'm a Moby Kugo. Hope you all enjoyed. Catch y'all later.